Now, as Christmas approaches, many of us will be faced with a new dilemma. How to handle unvaccinated loved ones and whether you should spend time with them over the festive season, set next to them at Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. So how do you find out who is vaccinated and how do you decide whether to invite them over for Christmas lunch? We've got the tips and the tricks to help you avoid awkward encounters. They say you can't choose your family, and it's never more relevant than at Christmas. Apart from the glazed ham and stuffed turkey, there'll also be an elephant in many dining rooms this festive season. The vaccination status of your nearest and dearest. I'd invite them. They'd probably need to get a negative test, though. I don't mind, actually. So um, I'm fully vaccinated, so it's fine. I hadn't really thought about it, but probably not. Now the COVID-19 vaccine is widely available across the country and Australia is reopening. This year, we're all facing a very unique predicament. Yeah, these conversations about whether somebody is vaccinated or not can be challenging because it is a personal question. The past two years has already been divisive enough, so it's never been more important to engage in peaceful and respectful conversations with your loved ones about their vaccine status before you invite them to your house or other social events this Christmas. After you've checked the public health orders for where you live, you need to weigh up the risk. Everybody's welcome. Come one, come all, the doors are open. Or you can decide to say, we love you. However, this year we're deciding to err on the side of caution and only vaccinated people are coming for Christmas. Anna's top tips are, be upfront. Having the conversation early and directly is paramount. You can blame the health advice for not having unvaccinated guests over. Or move the celebrations to a venue. Then you're guided by their rules. Alternatively, consider having a celebration outdoors where the risk is less. The government is making decisions for the broader population, but it's up to us to make decisions for what's safe and right for our families. He knows I ate sausage and olives and Look what you and... did, you little jerk. Kevin, get upstairs right now. Why? Kevin, you're such a disease. Shut up. Say goodnight, Kevin. Goodnight, Kevin. Are you talking to me?